How's everybody tonight? Are you watching the NBA Finals? They may be over by now. I don't know. Uh, I've been working on the spreadsheet and getting the break set up. So, you know, I have to turn off the TV when I'm doing that. Otherwise, yeah, it's a mess. It's a hot mess. I get all distracted otherwise. <laughs> so, I don't know what the score is on the Finals. I don't know what that, uh, what is happening with that. So, tonight, here's what we have going. Uh, just one football break, and it's a quick one. It's one of the full-size autographed helmets. And then following that, we have um, some baseball. Sorry, I got distracted there for a minute because I was trying to figure out... Uh, I was trying to figure out something there, but I think I better not mess with that right now. I better mess with that later. Uh, it looks like for some reason it's coming up kind of small on YouTube. It's not taking up the normal amount of space, but... I think there's a setting I have to change, but let's not tempt fate. We'll do it later. So first up, let's take a look at uh, break number one, and that is the full-size autographed football helmet. And after we break the full-size helmet, then we will put up the spreadsheet and get into Finest Baseball, which just came out today. And then after that, we'll do Archives Baseball, which came out, what, last week, I guess. All right, so first up, one 2017 Hit Parade full-size autographed helmet. This is break number eight. This particular helmet is series number three. And, man, we had a couple of bidders in here uh, really want this helmet. Argos 1987 uh, has a ton of bids in here. So, Argos, thank you, and I hope you uh, you have good luck. And uh, we had another bidder, this, this bidder right here with five teams, and I know it's marked unpaid right now, but um, that is a bidder that is known to me, and he sent me a note. He let me know he would be taking care of payment later, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, but it is marked unpaid because right now it is still unpaid. All right, so let's take care of the helmet first, and then as soon as we do the helmet, we'll be busting into the baseball. And again, it will be, uh, first up will be the half case of 2017 Archives Baseball. And then right behind that will be the half case. I'm sorry, Finest Baseball comes first, then comes Archives. But first, it's time for the helmet. And this can be loud. Sorry, they wrap these in um, cellophane, which is stiffer and louder than normal uh, plastic. I, I mean, whatever I'm trying to say, shrink wrap type plastic. This does come in its own little, excuse me, in its own little hip parade uh, carrying case, too. You can kind of see it here. It's in this little, like, drawstring bag. And where's the little, okay. Looks like we've got a Cincinnati Bingle coming out of here. And that is uh, AJ Green. Well, we can't see that very well, can you? Let's take it out of the plastic, and that'll make things a little bit easier. There is, uh, let me just pick the camera up. Oh, boy, there's all kinds of interesting things coming out of here, including a picture of him signing it, so that's kind of cool. Um, so there you can see the signature on the Bengals helmet. It's coming out of break number one. This just came flying out of the plastic bag, too, so there is AJ signing his helmet. You don't usually see that in here with these, but somebody's getting a little bonus. And then there is the authentication. So full-size helmet tonight headed to the Bengals. And that is, that's the only football break we had tonight, guys, was, uh, oh, here's another little thing that was in the plastic too. Sorry. Here's another, uh, another COA. So we got a couple of authentications and a picture and all kinds of extra stuff in there with this Bengals helmet tonight. Give me one second to get this uh, put out of the way here. And then we're going to put up the spreadsheet and take a look at 2017 Finest Baseball. Actually kind of cool that they gave the picture and everything. That's pretty, uh, it's unusual, but cool. 
All right, so this is a brand new case, of course, of 17 uh, Finest because it just came out today. And I think what we will do is we'll take out all the boxes in a minute and we'll label them on the end, one through eight. And then we'll let random decide which boxes we open tonight for this half case. So, of course, you see up here, if you haven't done a break with me before, we always put uh, all the information in this spreadsheet. So, in this case, it's four boxes of 2017 Tops Finest, which is a half case. And this is break number one because it just came out today. Our eBay end date, that is tonight, of course, and live stream schedule. Also tonight, right here and now. Team names are down the left. Winning bidder names are down the right-hand side. Had one unpaid team. And I want to say, I think I know who that bidder is, too. So again, not any, not anything that I'm concerned about. I'm sure that payment will come in, hopefully, and it'll be fine. Had one unsold team, and that's just designated with no bids buyback. That was the Marlins. And that is what we look like for 2017 Finest Baseball. Now it's time to jump in here and get these boxes out of here. Uh, uh, T-Bone, are there, uh, yeah, there are definitely autographs in Finest. Um, and you usually get at least one or two in a case that I would say are, well, what I would classify as high, high value, uh, high dollar type autographs. You usually find at least a couple like that in Finest, as well as, of course, others. But there are going to be two autographs in each box, and of course we're going to open four boxes tonight, so there should be a total of... Uh, a total of eight autographs and what we're gonna do I think this end might be easier to write on so I'm just gonna stack these up and number them on the bottom so that we can then get oh, maybe I should do it like this then we can uh, let random tell us which of the boxes we will open tonight and which will be opened in the second half of the break which I think is tomorrow night and then over the weekend, um, we're going to be breaking it in some full cases. But right now, we're just uh, starting out with, uh, with some half cases. If I can get myself and you on the right page, we'll be doing all right. I'm getting all these weird little pop-up messages on my computer, which are making my life difficult right now. It likes to, you know, pop up and tell you, oh, it's time to whatever, you know, scan, organize, whatever it is it wants to tell you. And, you know, I turn this thing on like a couple of hours before the break, so it'll get all that out of its system. Yeah, but no, it still pops it up right in the middle of the break. All right, five, eight, one, and three are the boxes we're going to be opening tonight. I'm just writing that down. Five, eight, one, and three. And then let's pick them out of the pile and start opening some stuff. All right, five, eight, one and three. So all the others will be in the second half of this case. And then of course Finest has um, has um, two mini boxes in each master box and then each of the mini boxes should have an autograph in it. So therefore, you know, that's our that's our two per box that we should end up with. And I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this stuff out and ready to rock and roll so when we get going, we can just keep right on grooving. Oh, so you're, uh, you're in the archives break, T-Bone, okay. Cool, that will be up right after Finest. And it has, gosh, you know I have opened like a ton of archives. Um, it also has two autographs per box and there is a case hit in archives which will be a, a higher profile player and this is sorry about that i hit the camera there this is the back half of a case that we're opening tonight in archives but we did not get the case hit for the signature in the first half i don't think um we did pull we did pull um, Rizzo for the Cubs out of the first half, but I don't think, I'd have to go back and look at the checklist, but I don't think that Rizzo is um, is one of the case hits. I think that was just an extra one. 
just showing you that those mini boxes are empty and we're going to go ahead and just get all this out right now up front so if you like baseball yeah we're going to be breaking a bunch of baseball between well oh well all spring and summer really uh, but after we do the back half of this case as i said we'll have a full case of finest i think on friday and on sunday we'll have some more half cases of archives in there and i've got some other baseball odds and ends that i need to find time to list that honestly i just seems like every day i run out of hours in the day just run out of daylight And speaking of, uh, look for this stuff that we're opening tonight, most likely to ship on Saturday. It is possible that I could get it to you earlier, and I will do my best. Um, but my target right now, my anticipation, is Saturday. And if I get it out sooner, so much the better. And of course, it's always possible that we could end up uh, a day off track and it not go until Monday, since there's no post office on Saturday. But... But right now, I think Saturday's what we're looking at. All right, and Brandon, you're looking for a, a Griffey auto. Okay, cool. So this is my first time uh, in 17 Finest as well, because this just came out today. So I'm looking at it alongside you for the first time. So we'll be figuring out together what, if anything, is numbered and uh, interesting in... 17 finest. And there's our first autograph, and it is uh, Kepler out for the twins. So, and it is a refractor, yeah. So you have a refractor auto, Max Kepler for the twins is our first signature hit out of 17 archives. I do like the card design this year. I actually think I might like the card design a little better than uh, than, I, than 16. Although in general, I do like Finest. Uh, that is a refractor of the Adam Jones, for Adam Jones, whatever I'm trying to say there. <laughs> we have the green parallel. It is numbered to 99 on the Lester. And, of course, I can already see as soon as these, uh, it's the chrome cards. I'm sure you guys are familiar when these come out of the pack. Almost as soon as they come out of the pack, they start to kind of bow up in the middle. It's like the compression of the pack is the only thing that keeps them uh, flat. And as soon as you open that up, we're off to the races. Uh, breakthroughs insert for the Cardinals, Piscotti. And, Brandon, uh, yes, all the cards ship. Uh, if, if I ever have something where all the cards don't ship, it will always say that in the auction description, like right around in the area where it says, uh, you know, in the big green letters, it'll say what we're opening, the title and the quantity and that kind of thing. So if there is ever an auction where, you know, the base cards don't ship, that's the place it will say it. John Lester Refractor. Yeah, I give out, uh, I, I take some cards and donate them. I don't take them to games because I'm usually not at games, but I have some uh, that I have in a pile to take and donate as well. So it looks like we have several of these uh, finest inserts, and as far as I can tell, these are not numbered, but that's at least the second one of those we've seen. So just an insert, uh, must be an unnumbered series unless we see something different. Another breakthrough. Nice die cut, David Ortiz. Now, I'm guessing, um, yeah, that is Finest Careers, so that is a case hit most likely. Finest Careers for Griffey in 16 was a case hit, so my assumption is uh, that the Ortiz will also be a case hit. <laughs> You've got your positive mojo out there for the Griffey. That's the way to do it, man. I mean, you never know. So Hunter Renfro coming out for the Padres, and that is numbered to 150. And, of course, all of the autographs in Finest are um, on card. No sticker autographs in Finest Baseball. It's Benintendi rookie. 
I was hoping it'd be a refractor, but sadly it's the one that was behind it was the refractor. There's Goldschmidt to 150 on the blue parallel. I guess we could set him over there with our green parallel. Just in case you guys want to uh, review the parallels, sometimes people want to take a look at them. Moncada, Guriel. There's, uh, there's a rookie refractor for Alfaro for the Phillies. Oh, there are three Ortiz case hits in here. That's unusual. There's a Swansby um, rookie. Oh, that's not going to be numbered. That is to 250 on the Santana. Oh, really? There are two Ortiz case hits in here. Okay, I'm surprised. Usually case hit, there's only one. So... All right, well, if, they, if they're if they giving us another one, so much the better. Uh, I actually did not have time to to uh, familiarize myself entirely with the checklist uh, for this because I just, again, ran out of hours in the day. I was getting stuff shipped today, and next thing you know, you look up, and it's time to start getting the break ready. There's Arcia for the Brewers. That is a refractor, so there's a nice rookie refractor hit for the Brewers. Ah, cool. Yeah, well then that's uh, that's better than if they have increased it from just the one that we had for Griffey in 2016. There's a Scherzer refractor. Guriel rookie to 99 in the green parallel. Yeah, the Arcias, that is a nice uh, that was a nice one. I agree with you on that. So I'm assuming that none of these breakthroughs are going to be numbered unless we find one that's uh, a different color variation. So obviously, you know, once you've opened it, once I've opened it once or twice, I'll be pretty, pretty familiar. There is Ken Griffey, but you're wanting a signature, I know. But it takes a couple times to go through it before you cement all that, in, at least before I cement all that in my head. Um, that is a refractor, but it is not numbered. Thought for a minute that it might, uh, that it might be, but I don't know why I thought it, because none of the others have been. Here's an Aaron Judge rookie. Of course, we wish it was a refractor and or a signature, but... We still got a ways to go. We still have it. Another Dansby rookie, Renfro. Nequin. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. For the Indians. I very seldom say the names right. That's one. <laughs> that is a refractor. That is one thing. Uh, if you break with me often, you know I just butcher the names all the time. <laughs> Yeah, and some of you are kind enough even, you know, you put them out in there, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, phonetically, and I'll still forget it by the next time I have to say it. It's just awful. Moncada for the White Sox, that is a rookie refractor. There's another refractor. This one is numbered to 50 on the Velar. Now, why I can't get my... Packs open tonight. My hands are not cooperating with me. It's like they've got a mind of their own. Oh, there's Chipper. So, I know out of 16, uh, we pulled some really nice autos recently, actually, out of 16. There's Ramirez Refractor. We pulled a Ripken. We pulled... Um, an Ichiro, I mean, a lot of uh, really high quality autos out of 16. So I'm looking forward to finding some of that, of course, in 17 as, as well. So the Moncada. Well, I just made a mess of all those packs, didn't I? Let's try that again. And I'm going to move these over. That stack's getting a little bit tall, and I think we'll just 
set it on down on the sorting mat and get it out of the way. You hit an each row out of uh, out of 16 too. Cool. Yeah, I mean, generally there's some good stuff in here. There's Kimbrel, Refractor, Joey Votto. And just the quality of card is really very nice in uh, Finest. There's Goldschmidt to 250. You'll see when you get it. I mean, I'm sure you've got them uh, that you've, you're familiar with them already, I would imagine, most of you. But they are nice, high-quality, thick cards. It's the chrome finish. Oh, you got 400 and something for your each row. <laughs> nice, man. That is nice. Asuna for the Blue Jays and the Refractor. Yeah, I tell you, we've been on, I've been on a bit of a Mike Trout kick lately. I've pulled a lot of Mike Trout uh, and short print Mike Trout, like one, uh, autos, I mean, 1 to 10, 1 to 30, 1 to 50. I mean, pulled a ton of Mike Trout lately. I've pulled a fair amount of Aaron Judge. Um, you know, we've pulled some, we've been on a little bit of a roll lately. Piscotti to 99 for the Cardinals. We've been pulling some decent some decent hits out of baseball. So hopefully that trend is going to continue. Speaking of, there's an Aaron Judge refractor to 250 for the Yankees. Whoops. Had to put him in the other pile. Oh, what did you just hit, Brandon? You got to share with us. You can't tease us and just say we won't believe what you hit and then not tell us. It's awful. You got to tell us, man. What is it? Oh, wow. You hit a one of one Mike Trout on card auto laundry tag booklet. That is sweet, man. That is sweet. I'm out of Inception. I. You know, I ordered a, a lot of it, and I thought, I actually thought I had more than I did, but even so, I under-ordered considerably, and I am completely out of uh, Inception, unfortunately. There's a nice Dansby Swanson rookie refractor hit, so that makes uh, the Braves pretty happy. He was a hard pull in Inception, I think. I only... Can only pull Dansby once or twice out of Inception. Hey, Dan, how are you? How's it going? Scherzer to 150. I'm going to again move this stack down the way here, and we are on the last box of this half of the case and then we'll be busting into the half case of archives after this martinez to 150. And yeah just keep in mind after we get through tonight and then Again, I think tomorrow night is the back half of this case. After that, we'll be we'll be breaking finest in full cases. I just sometimes like to do some halves because, you know, especially when the price of admission, so to speak, can be so high, you know, especially for the Yankees and some of those teams that are really hot right now. And I know when I'm bidding, I like to have a chance to sometimes get the, to get into teams. And if you could do half cases, it keeps it a little more affordable. This is the 25 on the Mazzara for the Rangers. And that is, uh, of course, it's got the pattern in it. And I never remember the names of any of those patterns. Um, well, anyway, you can see the pattern on there. <laughs> it's a refractor with that little pattern. And it is numbered to 25. Oh, you're selling your trout? Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know about... I don't know if I'd sell that, man. I might have kept that. <laughs> there's another Aaron Judge rookie refractor. So there's a couple of uh, Aaron Judge rookies out of here. And I'm looking to see, is that a different card design? Where did we put the other one? I must have stacked it in the 
Oh, it was, uh, I think, numbered. So, yeah, same design, but that's the base. And the other one, I think, was was one of the parallels. Yeah, but you'll probably, uh, who knows, you might end up... Uh, you might end up paying your mortgage with that trout, right? <laughs> Maybe the mortgage and then some. I don't know. Tyler Austin coming out for the Yankees. Well, one of these days. I don't know why I'm having such a difficulty getting these packs open tonight. There's a Chapman refractor and a nice Lindor to five. Five of five on the Lindor, so that's a nice little hit for the Indians. Oh, wow, it only cost you $34 to hit that trout. That's pretty crazy, man. There is Darvish to 250 Yeah, I wish I had more Inception. I, I, I like Inception anyway to begin with. But then, of course, you can usually go back and get more of something after you sell through whatever you've initially ordered. But that has not been the case lately. Everything has been uh, extremely hard to get after release day unless you want to pay, you know, a whole lot more than, than it was before. All right, so let's recap this. And first up, we have Finest Careers Die Cut David Ortiz. That is a case hit, of course, for the Red Sox. And then we'll go through our basic refractors. And it's possible I could have accidentally stacked one of these in, in the other pile over there. So if you saw one earlier and you don't see it in here, don't worry. You're still going to get it. I just means I might have forgotten to set it aside. I generally try to put them off to the side so we can recap them but every once in a while I will stack one in the wrong spot and we have our parallels Darvish to 250 our nice Lindor that is a uh, 5 of 5 That's 150 150 there's our judge to 250 250 straight up 50 99 250 150 and 99 then our signature hits. Tyler Austin for the Yankees. Refractor Auto, rookie of course. Mazzara for the Rangers, numbered to 25. That is uh, 23 of 25. The nice Dansby Swanson, rookie refractor. Signature, Piscotti for the Cardinals to 99. McQuinn for the Indians, also refractor. Arcia for the Brewers. I guess maybe all the signature cards are going to be refractors in here. Well, yeah, so far they have been anyway. Uh, there's Hunter Renfro for the Padres to 150. And Max Kepler for the Twins. And that is our half case of 2017 Finest. And that's going to bring us up to a half case of Archives. Let me get that spreadsheet up and switch over so that you see what I see, and we'll take a look at it. So Half Case of Archives is five boxes, and this is the fourth time we've uh, broken this in the half case, and we'll have at least three or four more to go, because I don't like breaking this one in a full case because there's so much base. It's just like, oh, it's almost unmanageable almost to do it in a full case. It's kind of hard, so I, that's why I break it up in halves for, for archives. And same as before, of course, you'll see the team names on one side, the winning bidder names opposite them. We had a couple of teams in here not sold. They're just designated with no bids buyback. And the teams that say unpaid, that just simply means the payment was not here at the point at which the spreadsheet was finalized, which tonight was about five minutes before the break started. So if payment has come in in the interim for that, no worries. You're going to get uh, whatever cards are pulled for you. Um, but that is just a way to keep track of it before the break. So, with the uh, 
with the amount of base in archives, we kind of, kind of buzz through this. Um, we kind of cut a path through it. If you want to take a second look at anything or you want me to slow down, you let me know. Otherwise, we'll kind of, uh, we'll kind of groove on through it. Oh, Brandon, there was not a Mariner at all in there. Well, I will, uh, I'll still send you, I'll still send you something. I'll find some Mariner's cards around here somewhere and I'll send you, I'll send you something anyway. We don't want you to get nothing, nothing. I mean, usually out of a half case, you would get at least, uh, something. Here's one of our Derek Jeter retrospective cards and these have a nasty little habit of sticking to the card in front of them and when we normally I find them but in the last one the last half case that we broke Sunday night I guess it was I didn't find like half of them until after the fact when I was doing the sort like um, more than usual Normally, there might be one or two I wouldn't feel during the live break and would find it later, but no, there was a bunch. So I'm going to hopefully find them, feel them all tonight as we go through. Another Jeter. Our case hit on the Jeter retrospective was in the first half of the break, and it is one that I found going through that I didn't see live in the break. It was one of the, um, oh, one of the rookie ones. Reprint, of course. Uh, that is Phil Rizzuto, and it is in the Peach to 199 variation. And there are a lot of different possibilities for short prints in here, and usually I catch them, but not always. This Whitey Ford, for instance, I believe is going to be a short print, not only because he's pitching, and that's not the normal pose we see him in, but also because he's missing the facsimile signature across the front there. So Whitey Ford, short print for the Yankees. Normally the card for him in archives, I want to say he's in the dugout or near the dugout. It's funny, you look at them so many times and then, or I look at them so many times and I still don't always retain. There's an Aaron Judge Mini. And of course, like the other stuff, if it should be that I happen to miss a short print you feel free to jump in chat and tell me if you see it go by uh, but also of course you're still going to get it because it would all the cards ship and here is our first signature hey and it's tommy lasorda for the dodgers that's a nice one at least i think it is i like tommy lasorda cool little hit for the dodgers And Senators, by the way, you'll see Harmon Killebrew go, go through here a few times. Of course, I guess you guys probably all know that the Senators are um, the current Minnesota Twins. Yeah, there's the regular Whitey Ford. So any card that says Senators will be sent out to the Twins. Tyler Glass now. We did not, I don't think we pulled our case hit auto out of this, though, out of the first half. So that should still be in here somewhere. Because uh, the Rizzo, I don't, well, I mean, I guess, I don't think Rizzo was a case hit. I would have to look at the checklist to tell you for sure. But that was the biggest name we pulled out of the first half was Rizzo. If anybody happened to jump in late, um, the anticipated date for this to ship is Saturday. And if I can get it to you sooner, I absolutely will. But uh, that's kind of what 
I'm expecting is that it will be Saturday. It, it could possibly even go into Monday, but I don't think that's super likely. There was a judge stuck there in the back. I mean, a, a Jeter. I got Aaron Judge on the brain. Jeter retrospective. I don't know why they stick as much as they do. So, did anybody watch the NBA uh, Finals? Does anybody know the score? It's Justin Turner to 199 in the Peach Parallel. Is that Ryan Sandberg a... Uh... No. I thought maybe it was a short print, but it's not. This should be numbered to 25 on the Gilman. It is number 5 of 25, as a matter of fact, in the red parallel. Oh, and somebody asked me today... Um, via eBay messages how you can participate in chat. I think you have to be logged in to your YouTube account for chat to appear. And I also think you can't have it on full screen because if you make the video full screen, I think that um, I think it doesn't show the chat. I could be wrong about that, but those are that's what I think. Uh, 69 63 warriors. okay, is the game over? Seth are still going on. I would think it's over by now, but you never know. And thank you for the score, too, Seth. Appreciate that. I think Cleveland may have a hard time coming back against them this year. I mean, I know they did last year. They came back from, uh, you know, a big hole. But, man, I don't know. They look even stronger than they did last year because they've got Durant now. Oh, this is an umpire. That's kind of interesting. So this will end up going to random because this is uh, Jim Joyce, an umpire. And it is numbered to 75. So the Jim Joyce will go to random at the end of the break. You'd be surprised. Some of those uh, fan autographs and manager autographs and, in this case, umpire autograph, uh, sometimes those go for decent money on eBay. So might still be a good thing. Um, we are only on the first box, T-Bone, and we had a Dodger come out, uh, Tommy Lasorda, of course, the for the Dodgers, and then we just had that umpire come out, and those are the two autographs that came out of box one. We're just now busting into box two of archives. So no Giants yet, but of course, you know, we will random the uh, the umpire. And this guy, uh, the executive director, Tony Clark, he used to play for the Twins for many years. So that will go to the Twins. There's another Jeter stuck to the back. That's the first time I've seen this one. And it's got his All-Star Rookie Cup on it. And that, uh, just let me check one thing. No, I guess it's not. I thought that might be, uh, but it's not. It's just one of the regular ones. I just hadn't seen it before. Oh, you have the Tigers in this break, T-Bone? Cool.
We'll see if we can't round one up for you. Oh, oh, did I say, what did I say? Yeah, he is a tiger. What did I say he was? I must have said uh, something crazy. I don't know. Sometimes my mind wanders. What did I say? He was a twin? Because I was talking about the, the uh, senators earlier. Yeah, well, tigers is correct. I don't know what in the world I said, but tigers is the correct answer. It's 199 on the uh, executive. Yeah, sometimes I get stuff stuck in my head and it would have been sorted correctly, but I misspoke in the broadcast, so thank you for catching that. That is to 75 on the Abreu. I know I'm going a little slower than I would normally go through these, but I'm trying to really feel for those Derek Jeters, you know, because they are really, um, I mean, the first couple breaks, they were hard to find, I will grant you. And they did stick, but then the last break, which is the first half of this case, seems like they stuck even more than normal, so I'm just really trying to uh, kind of do an extra little, extra little feel behind there for it. No white socks on the autographs yet, no. Uh, right now, we've only still just pulled the two autographs um, out of box one. We haven't pulled any autos yet out of box two. So we have the Lasorda for the Dodgers, and then we have the Empire that'll go to random are the only two autographs we've pulled so far. I thought maybe that Jackie Robinson was going to be a short print there for a second, but it isn't. Another autograph for the Dodgers. This one, Manny Mata. So Dodgers have two in their pocket so far. Jarrell Cotton for the A's to $199. Senator's card goes to the Twins. Cool. We have an autographed mini. Nice. Ozzy Smith for the Cardinals and numbered to 25. Cool little hit for the Cardinals. I like the minis. I like Ozzy Smith. I like that it's numbered to 25. That's a pretty sweet little hit. So congrats on that, cards. I like it for you. I was opening a box of uh, Topps football myself, for myself, the other day. Just a personal box that I bought uh, for 2010. And just standard Topps football, not, you know, not one of the name plates, just straight up Topps football. So it's only supposed to have one signature in it anyway. So I opened the whole box like I can't find the signature, and I'm freaking out. <laughs> There's another Derek Jeter, retrospective. Because I'm like, what happened? They've shorted me, you know, my autograph and whatever. <laughs> it's like, opened every pack in the box and just figured, oh, well, they left it out. And then later, when I was sorting them into teams to put in my uh, storage box, I found it stuck to the back of another card. So it's been that kind of week where cards are sticking together for me.
But I had just given up on that. I was like, well, I can't believe they didn't even give me my autograph in this box. <laughs> yeah, they did. It was just stuck. It wasn't one that I wanted. I was looking for a different player. Of course, I was looking for... Uh, I was looking for one of my Steelers. And instead, I got Eli Manning. I'm going to scoot some of these down the way here onto the sorting mat so that our stack isn't quite so tall. Hmm. Nope, guess that's a regular one too there for a minute again. I thought maybe we had a, a short print. Sometimes I have to double check them. All right, rolling into box number three. I don't know what I thought that said. <laughs> oh no, somehow I looked at that card wrong the first time. I'll do a little bit of a double take on it there. A redemption for George Bell. Fan favorites, uh, soft red parallel. I wonder if that's like this that I call peach. I wonder if they call that soft red, maybe. Probably, they probably wouldn't. Peach is probably not a term that tops would use, so <laughs> if that is, quote, soft red, then that would be numbered to 199. Straight up red is numbered to 25, of course. Salvador Perez for the Royals. And that should be, that is to 199 on the parallel. For the Pirates with John Smiley. So far, my favorite is still the Ozzy Smith Mini. I mean, I like the Lasorda and a couple of the others too, but. But I'm, I, I really just do like the minis a lot. And I like Ozzy Smith, so. I feel like I should have pulled some more Aaron Judge parallels, so I feel like there are uh, retrospectives, so I feel like there's probably still some stuck to the back of something here that I haven't 
found. And if that's the case, of course, I will find it going through the sword. There's one. Speak of the devil. That one is, what, number seven in the series. A nice little retrospective. Right, we had that. I was trying to think. I was thinking, we're short an autograph. And no, we pulled the redemption. Forgot about the redemption. I was kind of mentally uh, running through a mental checklist of the autographs we had pulled up to this point. Cabrera to 199. And there's Tony Clark again. Going to Detroit. Another Cabrera. And this one will be to 75. think we have any new baseball coming out next week. There's another Whitey Ford short print too in the same uh, in the same case. Now see how Spectre Basketball I don't think that's all that comes out next week. We have studio basketball that comes out uh, Friday, but I don't have it listed until Saturday. Because that's usually when I do basketball, I just decided to wait the extra day and do it with the rest of the basketball. Another Jeter. We're getting ready to bust into box number four of five. One second, I want to check something over there. The, uh, didn't look like the, I don't know. I always have it plugged in so the battery should be charging, but it didn't look like the battery was charging, but I guess it is. Oh, there we go. David Dahl for the Rockies. Nice little hit. Little rookie hit. I don't remember what rookies we pulled out of here the other day. I think it was Ben and Tendi and somebody. Um, as there's usually a couple of rookies in the case, and then a couple of a uh, couple of veteran retired players. There's an Andreas to 199. Andre Dawson, 
to 75. I swear that Jackie Robinson facsimile signature on there is so light. Every time I think it's not on there and that it's a short print, but it is on there. And then I just have to do a double take to see it. Jeter. And of course, after we finish the break, we will also do our nightly random. And Nightly Random is a little different this time. I change it up from time to time. I just get tired of doing the same stuff. And so what we're doing this month is, of course, we do still have a winner every night. But instead of getting a card tonight, what I'm doing is entering... Everybody who comes out of the nightly randoms will be part of a special customer appreciation break that will be on or about July the 1st. And in that, I will buy the product and the people in the break will get a chance to take that's the hits home. Dave Magadan, I don't know that I said that right, for the Mets. And I don't know yet if we'll do it as a hits draft or if we'll just let random.org uh, decide who gets what when we do the customer appreciation break. But the only way to get in that break is to win one of the spots from the nightly random. And then I'll just pick out some, some different things that will open up. And only the hits will ship on that. I won't ship based on the customer appreciation break, just the hits. We did one of those before, although the, when I did that one, everybody, uh, it, I had just entered everybody who had bid the whole month. And that, that was kind of hard to keep track of, honestly. And it was a lot of people as well. Um, so I think it's just a little more manageable to to do it this way with one winner a night advancing into the finals if you will but if you want to look up the other break the video is on youtube it's uh called lucky you as i think how i labeled it i don't even remember what all we pulled out of there except for roger staubach i do remember pulling a nice roger staubach uh out of football signature i mean some of these again. And of course we have to still random the umpire. The, uh, the umpire signature will go through random as well at the end of the break. And that is uh, just a facsimile signature. That's not a not a real Derek Jeter signature on there. I guess you guys probably know that, but just to be on the safe side, figured I would point that out. Well, 
We've got one box left to go. And let's hope that we pull something huge out of it. All right, good luck, everybody. If you haven't hit yet, let's hope we... Let's hope we find something for you in here. For the Rockies, Carlos Gonzalez to the Expos, Tim Wallach, which of course is the Nationals now. Montreal Expos are the current Washington Nationals, so that card goes to the Nationals. Roger Maris to 199 for the Cardinals. Retrospective. I don't know if you guys follow uh, college baseball at all, but my UK Wildcats have made it into the Super Regionals for the first time in program history. And we will be playing our arch rival just up the road, the Louisville Cardinals, on Friday and Saturday. And possibly Sunday, you never know, depending on how Friday and Saturday go. But pretty excited about that. Got a new baseball coach, and he has really done a nice job with our team this year. Of course, Louisville's got, uh, oh, why can't I remember that kid's name? Uh, I can't remember his name. It's going to come to me probably in the middle of the night, like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'll wake up and remember his name. Oh, he's one of the better draft prospects. Plays for Louisville. Ah, oh, well, maybe his name will come to me eventually. Mike Scott for the Astros. So then I guess our I guess the Rizzo was the case hit then on the signatures. I really didn't remember Rizzo being on the list of case hit signatures, but I guess he must have been because I think we've I think we've pulled everything out of this box. And Rizzo is definitely the biggest name we pulled out of the first half of the case. Well, of veterans. I guess we had a couple of nice rookies, but Oh, 
Oh, you're going to go to that game on Friday, Jimmy? That's awesome. I would love to go. Um, but A, the tickets are gone, and B, I can't swing it. I've got way too much to do. But that's awesome that you're going to you're gonna be at that game. I, I, I'm really excited that our, our kids are going to be... Uh, are going to be in the Super Regionals. I would, of course, you know, love to see them take down Louisville because, well, you know, Louisville's, Louisville is our, our in-state rival in every sport. But also because, you know, I mean, these kids, it's a, it's a big deal for our program. Louisville routinely uh, has had better baseball team, I guess, than we have. But we're starting to turn the corner a little bit. So I'm excited for our guys. And I hope that they do well. Obviously, I hope they win. But no matter whether they win or whether they don't, I'm, I think everybody here is super proud of them. No matter what else happens. All right, so before we, we've got all of our little recap to do here, but we've got a couple of little housekeeping things to do first. So let me go to the checklist, and we're going to checklist verify the George Bell, and that is fan favorites autograph. So give me a second here, and we will uh, verify that. If you break with me often, you know I just like to verify always the the redemptions, no matter. All right, where are we here? Come on. Come on, George Bell. All right, that is Blue Jays. So let's go ahead and, um, well, wait, just one. Did I? 20? Yeah, that's right. And then we've got to go to random for the Jim Joyce card here. So we can uh, figure out where that goes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to whip down through here and grab our teams. And since we have a lot of, well, we have 30 uh, teams in there, I think that's probably a sufficient number that we don't need to worry about uh, doing random more than once. If we only have two or three things in there, I generally, really anything under them, probably ten times, you know, eight or ten things, I will put in and do three, three different randoms. But with 30 items in the list, I don't see any reason to do it more than once. And whatever team comes out on the top here, we'll take home that umpire card. And that looks like it is going to the Rockies. So let's get back here and settle all this up all right so uh the jim joyce umpire signature headed off to the rockies via random.org and that one was numbered 275 and then we have our redemption george bell for the blue jays so our various parallels all of these colors are one to 199 everything in that color is to 75 the Whitey Ford is just a short print. The red is to 25. Another Whitey Ford short print. And then our signatures, Mike Scott for the Astros. Tim Wallach, Expos, which is the current Nationals. Dave, Matt, I, you, let's just call him Dave. Dave for the Mets. <laughs> The David Dahl rookie for the Rockies. John Smiley for the Pirates. Nice little Ozzie Smith on the mini, numbered to 25 for the Cardinals. 
Manny Mata for the Dodgers. Tommy Lasorda for the Dodgers. So that is archives. Let me do one thing here, though. I do want to go ahead and put... Uh, I want to mark... I'm going to mark on the sleeve that this went to, to the Rockies so that I don't forget when I'm sorting it. And again, that's on the sleeve, not on the card. Okay, so let's get ourselves sorted back out here on random. And then we're going to do our, our nightly random, which, as I talked about earlier, is going to get someone a spot in the special customer appreciation break, which we'll just call Lucky You Part 2. And that break, again, will be, I'm expecting it to be July 1st, just unless, you know, something strange happens and I have to move it, but I'm expecting it to be on July 1st. And probably draft style, but not 100% certain about that yet. All right, so this is everybody that uh, was in a break tonight. Scrolling through there so you can see everything is in there. We're going to hit random one time, and that's going to tell us who's heading in. And, of course, it went to an unpaid spot, so instead we'll go down to the number two spot, and that is Argos1987. So Argos 1987. Oh, now wait a minute. Why do you see? Why do you have a blank? Why is that showing blank? Hang on a minute. Or black, rather. There. I don't know how long that showed a black screen, but I apparently did something stupid, but you can see it. <laughs> there it is, and I will, if I can get myself back on the page, we'll scroll down so you can see it was just done the one time and there's the date and timestamp and all that. I think you probably saw it before it went to the black screen, but just in case you didn't, uh, I wanted to put it back up there. And so that's it for tonight, guys. Um, as always, thank you so much. I appreciate you hanging out with me, uh, chatting with me, and breaking with me. I hope to see you again. We've got a lot more baseball, some uh, pretty much every night, I think, for the next four or five nights, and then we'll start up again next week. And then all kinds of other stuff in between, football and basketball, and you name it, we got it. So thanks a lot, everybody. Hope you have a great night, and uh, we'll see you again soon.